This is gonna be a quick video on how to get this website working because it is very old. This is going to be for a Verifone Commander Site Controller. On the Commander is a program called Journal Browser. There's also a Config Manager, which is newer and you don't have to do all this stuff for. Journal Browser apparently was built during Internet Explorer 8 days, ActiveX, so this website's very old. And I have found you have to do a lot of jumping through hoops to get this to work. The very first thing you have to do is there is no more Internet Explorer, so you have to use Edge's built-in Internet Explorer mode. That is step one, is when you load this URL, 192.168.31.11, you will need to load it in Internet Explorer mode. The other thing you have to do is type Internet Options under Settings. You need to go to the Security tab and add, under Advanced, you need to add 192.168.31.11 to your local intranet and make sure that this is not checked. You do not want HTTPS. Get out of all that. If you plug your laptop directly in to the firewall, I am in port one of the firewall, I do not have to change any IP addresses. Let me pull up that real quick. CMD IP config. So it's giving me, out of port one, it's giving me a dot 41 address and that is good enough to access the 31 subnet. So I did not have to go into my adapter options and change and put a static IPv4 address in. I was just able to hook up, LAN to port one on this PaySafe UTM. Your mileage may vary on that one. But now what's gonna happen is you're going to go type in your manager password, your manager account, and your manager password. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna hit log in and nothing happens. It's just, you're gonna keep clicking log in and nothing will load. What you have to get to make this website work, let me get to it, is this file from Microsoft. A hot fix, hot fix package, Microsoft XLM4, and here's the KB number. If you Google this, it will pop up. It is some This adds some kind of ActiveX controls to the computer so that this website, after it's installed, you hit log in and it actually loads the website. And now you can go through and look at all your shift data, click on specific days and see, oh, let me get data. You can see all the transactions, what pump they happened at, how much they got, all that. You cannot access this website without doing Internet Explorer mode, adding to intr local intranet, and installing the XLM XML package.